Greetings and welcome to this new jailbreak update. So as you can see it right here, Pairing jailbreak has been updated officially to support iOS 16.4 or higher jailbreak via this new beta 6.2 update which is now out. Also, it adds support for bindfs for iOS 16.0 or higher which will save space on your device for up to 5 GB because if you use fake FS, it will take about 10 GB of space on rootful. But if you use bind FS, it will take about 5 GB of space on iOS 16. Also, you have this new parent loader that I will show you in a second. Also, please keep in mind that parent jailbreak is completely free for everybody. Also, you can see that we have some known issues. Like if you are on an A9 or older device, it will be stuck on the Pongo OS screen. So what you will do is leave it there. Control C, then type exit, then retry, and then your device will boot into the jailbroken state. Or if you want to create the fake FS, it will just work fine then. Also, as you can see, Pale Links version 1.0.9 is out to reflect the changes for the latest update to the Pale Ring jailbreak, which you can use to create a USB on your Windows computer and then jailbreak. The guide for pale links is in the description for you for iOS 16.4.1 jailbreak and also iOS 15.7.5 jailbreak. Now let's discuss on how to get it. Now simply head to the official website for pale rain and then you will see downloads. And if you are on a Windows computer viewing this site, you will see that Windows is not supported, but you can use pale links by using this button. Or if you want to download the builds for Linux or Mac OS, you can simply scroll down and here you can use the builds. Basically 100% of time, this build x86 and 64 will work for Linux. And for Mac OS, you can use the CLI universal build from here. Now, if you want to get the pale Nix, you can simply hit this button. Scroll down here and you will find pale Nix here. And then scroll on here and you will find the latest version available that is 1.0.9 at the time of making this video and you can simply get it from here mostly the amd64.iso will work now if you check out the download section you can see that the changes for the latest version beta 6.2 are shown here also you can simply pause the video here and read them if you want. Now guys, at the end, let's have a look at the brand new parent loader. So from here, of course, you can install your favorite package manager after jailbreaking your device. You can choose from Celio or Zebra. Also, you have the actions tab, which you can use to use these various options. Also, you can hide the environment if you use the rootless method. I'm using rootful. That's why this option is not available to me. Also, you can open Cilio, Zebra or Troll Helper if it is installed. You have Respring, UI Cache, Enable Tweaks and so on. Also, in the Diagnostics tab, you can see the version. So, I tested this on iOS 16.5 Beta 3 and it is working fine with the rootful method and you can see all the details here you can have the log you can also use the revert install button to revert the device to stock if you use the rootless method from now on if you open your package manager like Cilio it will also show you that which method you are using so you can see Pelerin rootful so if you are using rootless it will be shown here and the version so as you can see, I am jailbroken on iOS 16.5 and it is beta 3. You can see the build number right here. It's an iPhone 8 plus. The new parent loader is a welcome change and it looks great. That's all for this video guys. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.